Hi, Dagobert from Dagobert's Tackle World here to tell you about this weekend's fishing off the Gold Coast. So I'm going to do all this in one shot and do offshore report. We're going to talk about the um, inshore report and also the beach and a little bit of the freshwater as well. So, um, well, this weekend's um, the weather's not too bad. So Saturday looks pretty good, uh, sort of like 10 to 12 knots. Might get up to 15 out wide. Um, and then it swings around to the north um, later tomorrow slash Sunday. So um, for those of you who may already be out fishing now, um, you might get some dew fish tonight. Um, they've been a little bit quite, a little bit of a quiet bite in the morning. It's sort of like a mid morning bite on everything at the moment, including the flatties and everything. So um, the bite uh, uh, for anything, it seems to be around about nine to about 11 tomorrow. Um, so just hang out there because you will get some fish biting um, later in the morning, sort of 10 o'clock or maybe 11 o'clock. Um, the fishing this week has been pretty good on Monday, Sunday, then the weather was terrible, as we know, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, yesterday was sort of okay, a few fish caught. Today the weather's glorious. And um, the reports we have is, as I said, a little quiet bite in the morning. Um, but there's some nice snapper caught on the 36 fathom reefs and the 50 fathom reefs. There's plenty of uh, pearl perch um, out wider, like in that 100, 120 meter mark. Some nice bar cod as well uh, in that same depth. Uh, lots of kingfish on the 50 fathom reef northeast and also the 50 fathom reefs east are starting to show up as well. And amberjack at both places. And down south a bit, 2805 to 2808 latitude. Um, there's plenty of good fishing down there as well. Um, and that's in that sort of 85 to 100 meter mark, okay? Um, you want to jig, long jigs, fast jigging. Slow pitch is okay too, but fast jigging like this type of thing here is definitely the, um, the go-to. Um, they've been working well, the Samakis. I talk about these all every week, but this is what they're using. So, um, Kentucky, 270 gram, 280 gram in the storm lure. Uh, twin assist, look at the top, really good. You can do those a little bit slow pitch as well. They're beveled on one side and rounded curves on the other, so they will shoot and then they'll flutter, okay? So you still get pearlies and snapper on that too. The current at the moment out wide is uh, running a bit hard and we're at the last Sunday at wide, wide in about 400 metres and it was uh, running about 2.6 knots. Um, the guys on the 50 fathom reefs today said it's running about 1.5 knots and that's drifting against a little bit of southwest wind. Um, so a little bit of current running but that doesn't matter, the fish bite in that, you just got to up the ante on your weights and everything and, and back up into it or, um, or use your electrics if you've got a luxury of electric reels combo. Um, so, the, but the bottom fish out wide has been really good. Uh, last weekend we got some nice flame snapper, uh, some nice bar cod, we got some really big kingies as well um, in that sort of 250 to 400 metre mark, mainly 250, 280. Uh, and um, the guys that fished out wide have got some blue eyed chavala, there's a lot of cod caught, uh, and some of those alphons as well. So, the deep water fishing electric reels has been really good. A lot of guys are doing, having to go out, uh, jigging, but the, the current last week smashed them. So um, the current at the moment, you need to be in that sort of um, sub 1.5 knots of current to be able to jig in it. Uh, so we're jigging like up to you know, 250, 280, 350 metres, even deeper, and using like three to 400 gram jigs and using like a P4 uh, braid or a P5 max, but preferably P3 or four. Four is a good size actually. Um, it's around about 70 pounds and you're able to get sort of on a little OSHA 2000 reel around about that sort of uh, 400 metres of line on there. And the bigger, uh, like a Shimano OSHA 4000 reel, you can get around about uh, 900 metres of P4 in there so you can jig out at five, 600 metres deep. And the reel's only quite compact, but extremely strong and a massive big handle stroke. Um, got those at shop, <laughs> but they're really good. They're like the go-to, you see everyone on Everywhere you look on uh, any jigging uh, anywhere in the world, then everyone's using the OSHA 4000 in the deep, real deep water, or the 2000 in that sub 300 meters uh, depth. Very compact, very small, very long rod, very soft. Go with those, they're really good. Um, but getting back in close, also electric reels obviously at that area is really good. Uh, getting in close electrics up to about 100 meters is good. 
under 100 metres, I'd definitely suggest to do it by hand. Um, that's what it's all about. And uh, great fishing. 36 Fathom Reef, going to go there, go early. Um, get there early on the snapper and you'll get that mid-morning bite later in the day as the day goes on a bit. Uh, plenty of tra <coughs> trade there, a few parafish, uh, a few Murray cod and, and the works. Um, in close, so the 24 Fathom Reef today was a bit quiet, a lot of moving around by boats. Um, but there were fish caught, there was a few snapper caught, um, there was a, a few parrot, a few Murray cod as well. Not too bad. And even a few do actually a gentleman bought a nice dewy in this afternoon. That was around about sort of 15 kilo, 18 kilo maybe. Uh, solid fish actually. Um, and he got that, um, he was fishing on the close 18 fathom reef, so I think it was out the front. And around about sort of mid morning this morning on that bite time. Um, but there'll be definitely more dewies, a lot of dewies out there. Uh, but with the full moon, um, if you're out there tonight, good luck to the boys out there tonight on Friday night, but otherwise Saturday night. Might be a little bit of wind from the north, but they, I've caught heaps of dewies there at night on the northerly wind on the full moon as well. Full moon's actually not till Sunday night, guys. So give that a shot. That's offshore. Um, the estuary, I was up photo fishing this week. Uh, again, um, a couple of days actually, but on Wednesday, it was a horrid day. It was raining, it was windy, it's so cold, froze. Um, but the fish are biting. Uh, we've got about 25 fish for about uh, around five hours fishing or six hours fishing, 25 flatties. Um, early in the morning, the bigger ones are on, on the flats before, the, before it got too low. Um, we're casting big hard bodies, actually casting the same K10 of that style there. Big loud rattle. And uh, and just twitching it in about a foot of water that, or two foot of water. So only get down one foot. As hard as you can rake that down, it'll only go 12 inches, okay? So that's a really good thing. Um, you would have saw the week before where it was young Stewie from here. Um, he smashed a nice big fish on the athlete, which is out on the shallows again. So that's the sort of stuff to take up the shallows and you're casting it out over the shallow banks or around the edges of the bank where there's a bit of mud cliff and just twitch, 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 twitch and raking it, pausing it, even jiggle a little bit, twitch, twitch, and they absolutely slam it. And if you've got polarise on, you'll see him coming. It's like a little bit of a, a, bit of a buzz. And then he just twitch it to the next one, just wham on the surface. They even jump out of the surface. And they're good flatties. So I've got a couple of the other day, one was 83 and one was 79, like about three casts later. So, and we lost a couple of good ones too. So, um, good fishing at the moment up the jumping pin area. And that's over any of the shallow banks on the high tide in the first two hours that run out. Um, we then fish the, as the water drops off the banks into the little holes and gutters and the edge of the, of the channel. And there are plenty of flatties there. Um, we got Quite some good flatties, quite a lot in the 50s and 40s. Uh, dropped a couple of big ones near the boat again, about 65 or 68. Uh, so plenty of flatties up there. Um, there's also quite a lot of whiting around, a lot of, and we've uh, drifted past quite a few elderly gentlemen fishing out of the boats that were brimbo fishers, and uh, they're catching heaps of brim. And now, good quality brim, too. Actually, we've got a couple of soft plastics around that, I don't know, one kilo mark, but uh, probably close to it. Yeah, around that 35 centimetre size, a big, big brim and they're very fat. Um, back down the Broadwater Way, I've been plenty of um, flatties again around the older shots has been really good, Browns Bay at the front, and then further up uh, towards Courage has been really good. Crab Island's been not too bad as well, Efren Island's been good. If you're fishing off the foreshore, I'd probably try along the uh, waterfront anywhere from Paradise Point around Sovereign Island Bridge and all the way through to Baby Harbour. Just fish the weed beds, fish the mouth, the canal entrances, and, uh, and use soft plastics, cast up into the current and hop it back. Don't do too much of a big lift, just a nice little lift and just take up the slack and hop it back towards you and, uh, and fish that first two hours that run out, the last two hours that run out tide, first hour that run in tide. That tide change is really good. Um, apart from that, the broad water, um, the seaways we've fishing up to about a little dewies near live bait, so there's not much swell at the moment, so you can zip out and get your yakas or slimies. There's heaps of live bait at the moment at the front and bring it back in the seaway and have a fish. Uh, plenty of brim in the seaway. Um, sort of going at that monster shark. Geez, I don't know if it'd be paddling across the seaway at the moment. That was a, that was a big bull shark, that one. That was uh, during the week, I think, on the, on the north side of wave break. Oops, sorry, folks. Fine. And uh, yeah, that's all, all worth a go. And definitely um, head up the Drang River because there's a few wide out there at the moment up around the council chambers. And uh, night time, late afternoon has been the go. Uh, tides at the moment, we're pretty late up there, you've got sort of 
uh, high tide up there probably around about eight or nine o'clock at night tomorrow night. So it'll be a late uh, fish fish bite with the run out tide um, and maybe a bit of a bite just on dark on the running tide. Um, other things happening in the broadwater squid. Getting lots of squid still. I've got a couple again out during the week. I'm uh, going to go out again maybe tomorrow morning if I can get the chance before work. Um, just using again my two favourite colours as always, which are the um, Shimano ones. We sell every brand of squid jig just about, but these things just kick butt. They're my sort of go to ones, especially the blue uh, slimy mackerel type fellow. Uh, really good. Um, and I'll be going squid on the high tides. They're, they're really good on the high tide in any of the Western Channel, uh, anywhere from sort of, yeah, Runaway Bay through to Lotus Creek pretty well, or even up to the Gold Coast Bridge. And I see that uh, Clint from um, Fish and Charter Boats are getting them right up as far as sort of uh, past the boys' school at TSS. So they're everywhere at the moment. Um, just one thing I, I put a few people on to was soft plastics, guys, is um, when you cast around the banks in that shallow area, um, these Samaki vibes are just absolute um, dynamite and they make a, a, a whole array of sizes. That's sort of 100, um, the 80s, uh, I think they're 70, 85 and 70 mil um, are really, really good lures. They do some awesome colours. Um, they are a very hard plastic to beat in a vibe, okay? Um, there are a lot of vibes on the market. Um, value for money is pretty good. They have really good hardware on, really good hooks, they don't need to change anything. Um, and they just really do work well. Um, that's probably about all I could tell you about in the in the broadwater, oh, on the beach, sorry, Taylor. Oh my gosh, so many tailors last week. Um, I'll be definitely trying around um, the pump and jetty, if you can get a spot on there. It's quite busy, because during the week they absolutely brain the, ta the tailor off there during the day, because it doesn't open till eight o'clock in the morning. And they bit nearly all day, I think on Wednesday. Um, so if you get that strong southeaster blowing and it's overcast, just get your backside up there because they'll be on the bite. Um, you just got to get a parking spot <laughs> with your rod. Um, off the beach has been really, really good. Like um, last Saturday morning we went out and um, over on Stradbroke Island before work and uh, cast um, lures around and got some really good tailor. Um, they're getting off the beach at Naranek, uh, off the beach at uh, um, Phillip Park and Raj. And further down around um, Memo Beach has been really good. And I've heard a couple of guys getting down up Chugan Way as well. Tell a bunch of groin. Uh, I think the tail is everywhere. There's so many tailor. And they're good size. They get some good ones around the 50, 60 centimetre size, uh, which is great to see. And a lot of choppers. Heaps of choppers are in at 35 to uh, 45 centimetres. Just remember, 35 is the minimum size, OK? Um, snap their necks, let them bleed, and they taste really good, especially fresh. Um, so yeah, tailor. I guess that's probably it for the um, for the street report. And um, up the um, dam, I didn't hear much from last weekend. Sunday was a glorious day, as you all know, last weekend. And this Saturday, Sunday looks not too bad. Not as good, but not too bad. Um, so, I, yeah, get, get up the hens dam. Um, definitely troll around some lures to find the bait and find the fish. And then I'd be casting vibes. Even these things uh, work on the on the uh, bass as well. Eh? They're really, really good. Just vibe them through the through the bait schools. They'll they'll smack those things, um, and smaller um, like like uh, not the canister, uh, sorry, um, micro jigs in that style in that sort of thirty grams, forty gram size, and let them with the cyst hooks and let them flutter down amongst the bait and then pull them back up and work them back up and hop them slowly. They'll work as well. Yeah, give that a go. Um, other than that, I can't tell you much more about what's happening um, in the uh, dam area, but. Definitely, maybe worth a go at the Hens Dam uh, over the weekend if you've got nothing else to do. Okay, um, don't forget too, we also have our seminar coming up this Thursday. We're doing a jigging seminar um, on, on jigging, okay? <laughs> so it's gonna be all about um, using these type of things. And I'm gonna teach you how to jig for kingies and amberjack and absolutely brain them. Um, great fun, uh, awesome, awesome fight. Such a good fight. A bit of a lucky dip like flat air fishing with the with when you're jigging, you just don't know what size you're gonna get. You could drop down and get a fifty centimetre little king and the next drop you might get a hook up a forty kilo amberjack. It's it is just like that. Um, and the tackle that you have, you need to know how to use it properly. That's what I'm gonna teach you as well. So um, the usual thing, it's a ninety nine dollar fee, you get about hundred and forty bucks for the jigs and stuff. 
um, for the price and, and get to be here. But we're going to limit to 20 people due to the COVID rules, guys. Sorry about that. So first in best dressed, we're only doing the one seminar. So we've got the time to do this on this subject. Um, so that's next Thursday night, 6.30 start on uh, jigging the Kings and Amberjack. Um, the seminars we're doing after that, straight after that, on that's on the 26th, that one. On the 2nd of uh, September, um, which is Thursday week, we will be doing one on uh, flathead on soft plastics. And that night will be just wholly and solely towards how to use soft plastics for flathead, what to look for, uh, techniques, um, and understanding, reading the water, understanding everything you need to know about turning your couple of fish into lots of fish, okay? And then we're doing two seconds on flathead. The next one's the week after on the 9th, which will be on hard bodies for flathead. And that entails um, trolling for flathead and trolling techniques. Again, how to read water, what to look for, how to do it, um, and which lures work best and different, and how to, how to understand which is the right lure for the right area, okay? And the depth. And then we'll also be talking about hard bodies. What we've been doing the last week is casting off from the shallows, as in the bigger hard bodies like this type of thing. So the little ones for trolling and then the bigger ones for casting. So, and we'll, and joint, but jointed baits and all that sort of stuff there. So that night would be a really good night as well. So first, uh, so we've got this weekend, this week coming, uh, the 26th of August, we're doing uh, jigging for Amberjack and Kingies. And then the following Thursday, the 2nd of September, soft plastics for flathead. And then on the 9th of September, we're doing uh, hard bodies for flathead. Okay, welcome to book in tomorrow it'll be it's open up tomorrow for bookings and other than that um, please like subscribe tell your mates about our YouTube page uh, Doug Burt's fishing channel and uh, welcome to link up on that and catch up on everything we do it's not everything we do but what we've had time to show you <laughs> there's lots we do um, in fishing um, but anyhow, get that going and, uh, and watch it and I uh, hope you enjoy it. We get lots of good comments uh, from lots of people that's helping them out. The catches have improved vastly, which is great to hear. So um, thank you for, for watching us and, and benefiting from what we're teaching you. Okay, it's Dagobert Bird from Dagobert's Tackle World and I'll catch you next week and thank you for listening. Bye-bye.